Today we'll see the special features of CPU in PIC18F controller. The features of the CPU are as follows. Oscillator selection, resets, under reset we have power on reset, power up timer, oscillator startup timer, brownout reset, then watchdog timer and fail safe clock monitor. Oscillator selection. Oscillator can be configured for the applications depending on frequency, power, accuracy and cost. Oscillators are available in the market with different shape for the different frequencies. For example, crystal oscillators. Crystal oscillators are the important component of controller. They work on the principle of piezoelectric effect. Crystal oscillators are used in digital systems for generating the clock signal. And these clock signals are used for implementing the instructions in the controller, synchronize the internal and external communication, and moving the data to and from the memory in the controller. There are 12 oscillator options in PIC 18F controller. XT, crystal or resonator, XT PLL, HS means high speed crystal resonator, high speed PLL, EC, ECIO, ECPLL, ECPIO, INTHS. Here there are two oscillators, internal oscillator used as a microcontroller clock source and high speed oscillator used as a USB clock source. INTXT, INTIO and INT clock output. So these options, we can use them in an application as per the requirement. Brownout reset. A brownout of a controller is a temporary reduction in the power supply voltage below the level required for the reliable operation of the controller. In the figure, 5 volt is the supply voltage at which the controller operates. As you can see, there is a glitch in the power supply. The dashed line here shows the low end of the operating voltage of the controller. This is called the threshold voltage up to which the controller will operate reliably. But once the supply voltage start to drop below the threshold voltage, the BOR that is brownout reset happens. After brownout detection, the device goes into a reset state to ensure proper startup when power returns. And this action is called brownout reset. Basically, it is a protection mechanism for the controller. So brownout reset protects the controller from the damaging. Oscillator startup timer. Crystal oscillators require some time to generate a stable output. We know that crystal oscillators, they produce the clock. OST keeps the device or controller in reset until the crystal oscillator is stable. As shown in figure, we get the stable oscillations from the crystal oscillator. And to reach that stable output, the crystal oscillator requires some time. So till that time, the oscillator starter timer keeps the device or controller in reset mode. Power on reset. When a PIC microcontroller is first powered up, it will run through some defined hardware functions internally to prepare the controller for proper operations. These operations include oscillator startup and power stabilization. So POR will hold the device in reset while these operations happen. It prevents the device from running any software until a minimum level VDD voltage threshold is met and the oscillator is stable. When the peak controller is powered up, it will take some time to reach to the stable VCC. Till that time, the POR, power on reset, will hold the device into the reset till we get the stable VCC.